Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading for the 23rd until the 29th of December. Check your moon, Venus and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insights. And we're giving away two decks this month. So comment if you'd like to win the Arcanum Tarot deck or the Angel Answers Oracle cards. Final with Pisces, 23rd until the 29th. Nine of Wands. Okay, you're avoiding something or you're walking away from something like it's the end of a relationship. But you're wanting to some of you may have be may have a third party. Some of you your feelings for someone are very stable. The four of wands, um commitment and all of that. The page of pentacles, how you're seeing someone, someone may be reaching out to you. Uh, let's see. The magician. Someone may be wanting to manipulate you or wanting to have control of a situation, control the situation. Um, their feelings for you are the, the king of pentacles. So they also have strong feelings for you, you know, grounded, stable. They're seeing you as strength. So some of you may have Leo in your chart or this person may have Leo in their chart or be a Leo. But they're seeing you as strength. So they're definitely seeing you as someone they could be with or they can continue to be with because of this um, stability and strength. And then there's a three of wands, so maybe some of some of you are kind of separated. Some of you may not be in a bad way, maybe just be that the person is distant or you're being distant, but um, something is waiting to happen, like the relationship could be just getting started for some of you. Some of you it could be, um, as I said, some of you could be um, seeing someone new aside from the person you are with. Okay, let's see, the devil as the outcome. So, I've been seeing this guy all day. Let's see why he's here. The, the lovers, the lovers here. Hmm. Page of Pentacles again. Some of you may have been unhappy with someone and have met someone new. Weren't getting your wishes fulfilled, so you step in out, or it could be them, it could be vice versa. It, is, it feels like either you are stepping out on someone, or you have moved on quickly from someone to someone new. Okay. Four of Wands. Be an air sign. King of Pentacles. Again. King of Pentacles twice. I love how he's standing on Earth here. But um could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Air sign, Air not Aries. Um Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This, one of these people, I mean, this could be the same person in one, or it could be two different people, but someone you see as um, stable, they may be showing you that, that, they can have a, that you can have a stable relationship with them. That's why you're feeling um, these feelings, the four of wands, 
Page of Pentacles. There's a Page of Pentacles here. Messages from someone from the past. Maybe someone from the past is not wanting to let go. The hind in reverse. And the world in reverse. Someone doesn't want it to be over. Okay, so maybe someone from the past holding on. It could be you, magician, yep. Someone manipulative. Someone's trying to manipulate the situation or you. It could be someone from the past. It could be the person that you've, that you've strayed away from, if you have. It could be that someone strayed away from you and they're like manipulating you, the magician. It, it could very well be them because they have two paths. Someone may be playing games with you. If you're not the one with the third party, it could be them with the third party trying to play games or manipulate. Let's see. The King of Pentacles. Person's very sure, very sure of their feelings. The King of Cups, a lot of people, a lot of kings. Two, two King of Pentacles, two, well, one King of Cups. This person's very sure of their emotions, very sure about you. Someone's very sure about you, could be someone from the past, you know. It could be the person who's trying to manipulate you, or, you know, maybe with emotion they're trying to manipulate. Strength, why strength here? Six of Swords. You know, they may feel like. I feel like for some of you, if there's someone trying to manipulate you, they're feeling like it's not working for them, like you're not easy to manipulate. You're not giving them the reaction that they're looking for, some of you. No, you're not giving, you're not giving them the, re the reaction that they're looking for. Someone may be acting up, especially with these pages, um, immaturity. Someone may be, yeah, you're seeing them as the page, so it could be some immaturity here going on with someone. The Three of Wands, again, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, like every other reading I've done today, and the Hermit in Reverse. This is weird because the Hermit in Reverse is like even more depressed than the Hermit Upright, but then the, the Nine of Swords is the relief of anxiety, so maybe they feel like if you come back around or they get back with you that it will relieve their anxiety but maybe the truth is that the relationship just wasn't working someone's waiting but it's almost like they feel like having the relationship back will answer the, the questions um, fix the problems that doesn't look like the case it's starting to look like the same situation with the devil card for most of the other readings I've done I haven't seen this star in a while. Okay. Some of you, it could be. All right. Some of you, it could be if you're dealing with a third party. Right? Some of you may... It may be the, the ex who's acting like this, acting negative. Or it could be, shockingly, the new person with the tower and the star. This person not being as... as um, not what... What glitters isn't always gold when it comes to this person. You may find out that they're actually very clingy. You know, too much for you to deal with. But it could be someone from the past who's too clingy. Someone's um, trying to manipulate the situation for their own gain. 
It could be that they just want to get back with you because of their feelings, but it's almost obsessive with the devil. This obsessive energy that I've been seeing um, in all of the readings, most of the readings. Okay. Let's see. Let's make some sense of this. Deception. Someone in this relationship is wearing a false mask. Someone's manipulating. They may be, I feel like they're using emotion to manipulate you. It could be vice versa. Maybe you're trying to manipulate someone with emotion, like trying to bring them back. I mean, it's a secret, but if not, then it's someone who's trying to manipulate you. As I said, it could turn out that this person, this new person that you're seeing could turn out to be not what you thought they were and end up being, you know, this unstable person, this broken person, this person who is really clingy, okay? So, what's going on with Pisces, messages for Pisces? Oh my God, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. I'm scared. <laughs> the devil, like I've been seeing this for, uh, I keep saying this, but I've been seeing it in a lot of the readings, like the devil and the clingy person. It's almost making me worry about what's going on with my sign, which is, you know, I have a chart too. So some of this could be affecting me. I need to be careful as well. That's why I said I'm scared someone there, there's some people out there who are just you know coming in with the false masks maybe a bunch of narcissists you know all right so finance and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you see I feel like those of you for this with this card, if you have stepped out to see what else is out there, aside from the person you were with, you may run into some trouble with this new person because it may turn out that it may turn out that this person is not a good person, and the person you were with before may have been you may have you probably should have stayed with that person for some of you, okay. It could be vice versa. It could be that the person you're seeing ends up um, stepping out on you with someone who is a narcissist or, you know, just someone really clingy and deceptive when they should have stayed with you. Okay, so if it's vice versa, they should have stayed with you because they're going to run into some trouble with this new person or whoever they want to have as a third party. If it's you who have a has a third party, you may run into some trouble with this new person because obviously, I mean, these two cards together, it's just, it's just bad news, deception and red flags. So it's like um, the person, the person who, who you know, who, you, who you've known longer than this person may be the one and you should have just, you know, stayed with the right person. Maybe you were just curious, or maybe the person you're with was just curious and wanted to see what else is out there, but it, whatever else is out there is not, not glitter, not gold. Sacred place, sorry, sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Be strong, you are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Peace, there is no need to worry, everything is working out beautifully. Independence, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Self love, okay. There is. You need to you need to take caution. Most of the signs 
If you look at your moon, Venus, or rising, and you see this card, and I'm talking about a codependent person, you need to be careful. Like if, if you checked your moon, Venus, and your rising, and they're all showing this deception, this person, then you might want to take a look at the person that, that you're dealing with. Just in case, just in case it's accurate, in case it's for you, maybe it's not for you, but still just be cautious. Reconsider, Let's see. Opportunity, that's been a common one. You are ready and listen to your intuition so if your intuition is telling you that this person may be faking they may be pretending or wearing a mask probably you need to uh, pay attention before you get into um, something that that you may have trouble getting out of this person may be clingy may really attach to you measuring your energy with the seven of swords you know, just with the magician. Just someone who just comes in and drains you. I mean, be careful with these people. So if, you've, if you had a good thing and you wanted to see what else is out there, be careful. If your partner, if you and your partner has a good thing and they stepped out, they're in for a surprise. They may come running back to you when they find out that the person that they tried to move on to is just not trustworthy. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. This, this means this sometimes means that someone's coming back around. So if if your partner has stepped out on you, they'll be back. They're gonna run into this person, the deceptive person, they'll come running back home to safety, okay? So, Pisces, this is your reading for the 23rd until the 29th. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you like more insight. And don't forget to comment Arcanum or Angel Answers to let me know what deck you'd like to win. Okay, picking two winners this month so like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and thanks for watching